Here's the fun way to sort pennies. I've noticed there's a number of penny sorting videos out there, and some of them use magnetic induction using permanent magnets. I didn't see any using electromagnets, and electromagnets with a pulse of electricity can be used to actually launch pennies. Anyway, the basic setup here, I have an old tube plate transformer to provide the high voltage and a light bulb in series with an input to limit the current. And then a couple diodes to make a half wave or a half bridge rectifier. That charges up a 50 microfarad motor run capacitor, so it provides the pulse of energy. Comes through a little homemade switch here, which I'll touch only with a plastic ruler because it is 400 volts. And then that goes through a small coil of wire here, it's about the right size for a penny, it's 100 turns of 29 gauge wire. So we charge it up and then I'll send that pulse of electricity from the capacitor through that coil that will induce current in the penny which will make a magnetic field that repels the field from that coil and it makes the penny jump. So I'll do that one more time just so you see what this is a standard newer zinc penny, so pennies are zinc plated with a little bit of copper, and zinc isn't as conductive as pure copper, so with this setup it jumps a couple inches. So here's an older pre-1982 penny, and those are mostly copper, and you'll notice that goes up 8 or 10 inches, because the copper conducts electricity better. Now I'm going to make a change since this is 400 volts, I'm sure it's discharged. And just so I don't accidentally bump the switch and shock myself with 400 volts, I'm going to trade it out for an electronic switch. This electronic switch is a triac, as are used mostly in light dimmers. It allows me to use a small push button. The peak current here is about 100 amps. And so, a normal push button would wear out very quickly with that. And just show you, it does the same thing here. There's the penny jump with electronic switch. Now, discharge it again. Now, the next change, we can get a little more efficient. Here's a coil that's epoxied together and has an iron core, this is a winding of transformer lamination that's inside the coil. And since the idea is to sort pennies, we'll put this at an angle. And this will launch them a little farther than the plain air core coil. Again, that hooked up to the power supply. And now we need a couple sorting bins. Let's see if we get the distance about right. Uh, one for the zinc pennies that won't go as far, and then one for the copper pennies that should go farther. So now let's start, I think that's a zinc penny. So put the penny, and this has a little holder so the penny doesn't slide off. It's just a piece of plastic with a three-quarter inch hole in it. So there's the zinc penny. And then you see a copper penny in. I guess my container isn't quite far enough away, so I'll make it a little bit farther. Now there's zinc penny, pop the penny there, hit the container, zinc penny, another zinc penny, yep, yeah. I think that's copper, yep, yeah. oh, bounced out, another copper one, and a zinc one. So, pennies here. We can make this even more efficient. If I use more iron and have it extend past the coil, let's make sure this is discharged before I touch the wiring. So, here's the, here's the coil, and this has a long stack of transformer laminations, which I ground a little bit round, round a coil, it's only three millimeters thick, epoxied it together, but this gives it a lot better magnetic path to complete the circuit. So, same amount of energy going in, it's about four joules, 
this isn't very efficient because the energy in the penny is well, on the order of a percent or less of what we put in. But you can see this one's just aimed straight up because I don't have a hole there to keep the pennies from sliding off. But here's a zinc penny, and it goes about as high as the copper ones did before. Here's a copper penny. And the copper pennies tend to go up and hit the ceiling. And then here's a dime, and dimes are actually copper with a thin nickel copper plating. And so they will work too. And in fact, they hit the ceiling even harder because they're a pure copper. The copper pennies are actually 5% zinc, so they're a brass alloy. And then for a final refinement, here's the little portable toy that I made. So this is the same thing, except it's battery powered, so batteries, an inverter, and a smaller capacitor, which is charged to slightly above its rated voltage, and then the coil wire with the iron laminations in it. So this makes my portable coin sorter, and oops, it's a button on this side. So there's a zinc penny. Yeah. And zinc is all my copper ones all over here. Okay, here is a copper penny. So as you can see, it's very similar to this one, except packaged up to make a nice little toy. So there is the fun way to sort pennies.